Good evening and welcome to our virtual presentation evening. I am fairly sure this is the first version of the presentation evening we've ever done on the internet and I hope that you are able to enjoy it. The last academic year was clearly like no other before and we are sad that we've been unable to run our usual celebration of achievements. We are hopeful that this evening will allow all of us, staff, students, parents alike, to have a moment of reflection to consider the wonderful achievements of all of our young people. Despite all of the challenges that they have faced, especially in relation to not being able to sit the examinations, the whole cohort have dealt with the difficulties incredibly well. We are very proud of them for that and we hope that they are proud of themselves too. This year has shown more than ever that examination results alone are not the only measure of success and that there is more to develop in our young people. A school is much more than a place that students go to learn the answers to an examination question. It is a community. It is a place for all of us to develop, learn and grow together. It is a place of inspiration and engagement. It has been wonderful to see these young people develop into who they are now. Young people who have courage, who are articulate and who are responsible for themselves and others. Many of the awards this evening will explicitly recognise those endeavours. So we've chosen to read the full citations to ensure you can fully and congratulate all of those involved. We will this evening, the Chair of Governors and I, be wearing face coverings to ensure we're COVID secure whilst we hand out the awards. Hope you enjoy the evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and young people. My name is Natalie Davies and I'm the Chair of the Governors here at Falston. And it's my very great privilege and pleasure to welcome you to our awards for the academic year 2019-20. And what a year it was. I think no one would have predicted at the start of the year how much it would test the resilience, courage and dedication of all our young people, staff and the wider communities. The COVID-19 pandemic has meant that our pupils have had to draw on reserves of resilience, courage and commitment. And that's really recognised here tonight. So I would like to congratulate you and thank you for all your hard work. The Hales House Prize for Service and Dedication to the House this year is awarded to Emily Weller. Emily made an outstanding contribution to Howes House and to the school. In her role as House Prefect, White Badge and finally Red Tie Prefect, she was exemplary, always carrying out her duties to the best of her ability. She always gave that extra little bit, whether it be time or simply just a lending hand. Emily has always been very polite and helpful in all she was involved in. For example, parents' evenings, open days, new student visits, house assemblies and the very important day-to-day -day running of the house. Emily always set uh, such high standards, inspiring others to follow in her footsteps. Nothing was too much trouble for her. Emily is a very worthy winner of this award and on behalf of Hales we would like to thank her for everything she contributed, not only to the school but more importantly to Hales House and which wish her every success for the future. Emily. The Morrison House Prize for Service and Dedication to the House goes to Adrian Angle Henry. Adrian started in Morrison midway throughout through a year and from the very start he went above and beyond to be an asset to his house. Adrian hasn't had the easiest time but that has not stopped him from striving to be an incredible role model to other students, a good friend and an extremely conscientious student. Adrian has spent his time at Falston helping his peers and by being an avid promoter of equality and fairness for all groups in society. He's been a pleasure to watch grow and mature and his presence in house area will be sorely missed. Adrian. The Stanhope House Prize for Service and Dedication to the House goes to Millie Steers. Millie made an outstanding contribution to Stanhope House, carrying out her duties as house captain to the best of her ability. She was very polite and supportive with the organisation of house duties. Millie was an excellent mentor with her younger peers, particularly in the house area. 
Although not a sporty member of the house, Millie was very competitive when it came to the annual Christmas quiz. She's a very worthy winner of this award and on behalf of Stanhope, we would like to thank Millie for everything she's con contributed to Stanhope House and wish her every success for the future. Millie. For the first of our special awards, we have the Head Teachers Prizes to Owen Foster and Lucy Davis. Owen and Lucy have proved an excellent combination of head boy and head girl, bringing to the post both enthusiasm and a real sense of responsibility. They've served as role models for others and represented the school to the wider community with distinction. Owen and Lucy. The John Burley Prize for Art and Design goes to Willow Harold. Willow has made an excellent contribution to the art department during her time at Fulston Manor School. She is a perfect example of a student who has the drive and ambition to achieve work at a very high standard. Willow has excelled in her studies throughout her time with us, continuing from her success at GCSE and further developing her artistic skills at A-level. She's always been willing to go above and beyond in terms of artistic investigation and in-depth contextual research. It has been rewarding being part of Willow's artistic journey, seeing her develop and mature in her art practice. Willow truly deserves this award for outstanding achievement in art. Willow. The Jenny Smith Prize for Business Studies goes to Neve Laker. Neve has had a huge impact on the Business Studies department since year 10. She's brought enjoyment, determination and a sense of humour to learning. She's developed an ability to analyse and evaluate business issues and to communicate these in a highly organised and effective way. Neve was a particularly thoughtful student who was always listened carefully to the views of others before giving her own view. Furthermore, she often helped her peers make progress in business studies as well as helping them with their organisation skills. Neve worked consistently hard on her revision and coursework throughout Key Stage 4 and 6th form, displaying strong independent study skills. Her grade reflects the hard work she put into business studies and we have no doubt that Neve and her big personality will be a success in whatever path in life she chooses. Neve. The Irene Thompson Prize for Design Technology goes to Harry Hubbard. Harry has, without doubt, been a standout student of this year's cohort as a highly motivated and independent student. He has stayed focused throughout and, above all, has embraced and effectively employed an organic, iterative design process with a highly effective outcome in a challenging context that he would not naturally engage in. His work provides an outstanding example of this approach to design. Harry's open-mindedness towards new challenges and processes has allowed him to produce work that is of a consistently high standard and complexity. The success of his final piece is a perfect demonstration of his determination to do well. Harry's tenacity, coupled with his good humour and easygoing nature, has also made him a pleasure to teach. We wish him the best of luck for the future and are assured that his ethics towards work and his newly honed skills in problem solving that he employed during the A-Level 3D design course will also serve him very well throughout his future. Harry. The Leslie Brooks Prize for English goes to Julia Martin. Despite joining us from another school in Year 12, Julia swiftly became part of the Falston family and combined a natural intellect with a hard-working attitude which led to her success at A-level. She pushed herself hard to achieve what she did and improved her skills as a thinker and as a writer of essays. Julia leaves with the best wishes of all of us in the English department at Forster Manor. She will be successful in whatever role she forges for herself in life once she has completed her well-deserved gap year. 
Julia has always been able to develop conceptual and insightful arguments when discussing texts and would move along discussion well in class, combining cutting literary criticism with an equally cutting sense of humour which made lessons a joy. Becoming increasingly adept at applying literary theory and examining the critical views of others, Julia was able to structure and develop complex and conceptual arguments. Being able to synthesise these with her own thoughts and explorations meant that her writing was consistently articulate and fluent. While a natural passion for the subject set Julia up for success, her impressive work rate and proactive responses to feedback became characteristic of her continuing desire to improve. We have no doubt she will continue in the same vein and we wish her every success for the future. Julia. The Hayes Education Prize for Financial Studies goes to Eva Stavreva. Eva de demonstrated a keen interest to learn about financial studies from the outset. She applied herself fully both in and outside the classroom, producing excellent work. It is evident that she has genuine passion for the financial industry as she always shared her extra readings on current financial affairs with the class. We congratulate Eva on her excellent grade and we know she will continue to develop her knowledge in the financial industry. Eva is also awarded the Governor's Prize for Sociology. Eva is one of those quiet, unassuming and modest students who simply gets on with her work in a focused and highly industrious way. She showed a natural aptitude for sociology and her past experience gave her a more global basis for her thinking. Eva worked well with the other students and was a very positive influence in the class. Throughout year 13 she grew in confidence and regularly produced work of a very high standard, making increasingly sophisticated arguments and showing a strong understanding of content. Eva was happy to ask questions and responded well to feedback. Although Eva was never able to sit her examinations, her final awarded grade was a good achievement and we wish her well as she moves on to pastures new. Eva. The April George Prize for Health and Social Care is awarded to Darcy Lannis. Darcy has been an exemplary student of health and social care throughout her time at Forston Manor School. Her unwavering enthusiasm to succeed in the course has resulted in an incredible work ethic which has led to tremendous growth in her academic knowledge, writing and application of core concepts. Over the past two years she has shown dedication and commitment to the subject, consistently completing any task to the highest possible standard. In addition to this, Darcy is a very personable young lady who was an absolute pleasure to teach. We would like to wish Darcy every success in the future. Darcy. The Governor's Prize for Computing goes to Caitlin Ingram. Caitlin is an extremely hardworking, motivated and dedicated student who has shown a great de degree of consistency in information technology across a number of different disciplines over her time in the department. Whether it be practical or theoretical elements, Caitlin has always sought to do her best and take on board any suggestions of alterations or improvements. Caitlin takes pride in her work, presenting the evidence required in a clear and detailed manner and showing a high degree of skills and understanding in relation to production of reports. She is a self-motivating, self-reflecting and diligent worker who has a thirst for knowledge and wishes to succeed to the best of her ability. Caitlin is always willing to ask questions, seeking to advance her knowledge and understanding and will often stay behind after lessons and a regular attendance at after school workshops. Caitlin's dedication and attention to detail is reflected in her overall grade of a distinction on the BTEC course. It's been a pleasure to teach Caitlin and she is thoroughly deserving of the Falston Manor Computing Prize for 2020. Caitlin. The Anne Hanger Prize for Individual Instrumentalist goes to Zach Munden. Zach started at Falston in the sixth form and quickly established himself as a diligent and thorough worker. He further cemented his place in the department by throwing himself into every extracurricular event possible and mentoring younger students. 
Zach has also accompanied other students in small ensembles and for exam work. We are very proud of all Zach has achieved while at Forster Manor and would like to wish him every success for his future endeavours. Zach. The Gloria Barnett Prize for Science goes to Jade Bangs. Jade was an extremely dedicated scientist who worked hard throughout the two years of study. She regularly demonstrated a thirst for biological knowledge and passed on her passion for studying to her peers. She was able to reflect on feedback with a maturity far beyond her years. This allowed Jade to adapt and adjust her approach to her studies, which meant she was in the best position to fully understand new concepts. Jade was a pleasure to teach due to her positive attitude and dedicated nature. We wish her the best of luck with what promises to be a bright future. Jade. The Governor's Prize for Law is awarded to Ben Stanley. Ben has consistently and doggedly pursued success in law this year. His calm methodology and focus has not only rewarded him boundlessly in results, but has won him admiration from his colleagues and his teacher. Ben is a quietly confident worker who will find that his work ethic, married to his intelligence, will serve him well in the years to come as he completes his law degree. Ben will make a fine lawyer and has all the tools for success with his high achievement here in the sixth form. Ben is also awarded the Christchurch University Prize. This prize is awarded by Christchurch University to the GCE student who has made the most academic progress since the beginning of Year 7. Ben. The June Medell Prize for Mathematics goes to Charlie Brissenden. Charlie worked exceptionally hard throughout his time studying A-level mathematics. He generally grasped new concepts quickly, but also took the time to complete out-of-lesson research to deepen his understanding. Charlie completed all his studies with a positive attitude, and even when he found it tough, kept going with a smile on his face. Charlie was a valuable help to his peers, as he was quick to help and explain where he could. He also volunteered to help support younger year groups with their mathematical studies and assisted with a Year 7 class. Charlie will be greatly missed by us, but we know he will do extremely well with such a great work ethic. We wish him all the very best for the future. Charlie. The Governor's Prize for Psychology is awarded to Cameron Kemp. Cameron has had a very successful time at Forston Manor School. In psychology specifically, he has matured into an engaged, dedicated, independent and motivated student. The progress he has made this academic year, both academically and personally, has been delightful to witness and he should be very proud of all that he has achieved. Cameron's enthusiasm and interest in the subject regularly led to hot discussion and debate in lesson and his ability to argue from different perspectives certainly kept other students on their toes. Cameron has been a pleasure to teach and we wish him every success with his future studies at university. Cameron is also awarded the PTA Trophy for Achievement in Sport. Cameron is a gifted and motivated triathlete who has been devoted to one or more of the three disciplines of triathlon from an early age. His natural ability, allied to an unwavering dedication to training, has led to notable success on the British triathlon circuit. His proudest achievement to date being qualification for the European Championships in Malmo, Sweden in 2019. A student who was a pleasure to teach while studying GCSE uh, Physical Education during years 10 and 11 and BTEC Sports during his sixth form years, Cameron harbours ambitions to take his training and competition to the next level whilst in higher education. Cameron is a testament to the power that sport and exercise can have on one's personal development and character. It has been very satisfying to have seen the contribution triathlon has had on his growth as a human being. Cameron will be sorely missed and we wish him all the very best for the future. Cameron.
The Jewel Haddo Prize for Modern Languages this year is awarded to Owen Craycraft. Throughout his time at Forston Manor School, Owen has always shown a keen interest in learning French. From Year 7 through to the end of Year 11, he worked hard to improve his range and knowledge of the language. He's a student who strives for perfection and his conscientious approach helped him to develop his linguistic understanding and skills and to broaden his knowledge and understanding of French vocabulary and grammar, allowing him to use a wide range of expressions and language. Owen's confidence and ability in understanding and using French has grown steadily over the final two years of the GCSE course and despite the sudden unexpected ending of the course, he had been successful in achieving high grades in eternal examinations. He should be very proud of his efforts and achievements. It has been a pleasure to teach him and we wish him success in the future. The Ickham Cup for Music is awarded to Ellie Resch. Ellie has been a feature in Falston Performing Arts events since Year 7. Not only has Ellie participated in our extracurricular clubs, but has also worked incredibly hard during music, drama and performing arts lessons at GCSE and A-Level. Ellie has epitomised her hard work and dedication to the department by accompanying other students for exams and also leading ensembles during her final years at Falston, with great success. We are indebted to Ellie for her dedication in pushing these groups to new heights and we are so proud to see how her hard work has paid off over her years with us. Ellie will undoubtedly make a success of her future endeavours and we are very pleased to be able to acclaim her as one of our alumni. Ellie. The Alex Weirder Prize for Performing Arts this year goes to Thomas Gavelli. Tom joined Forster Manor in the sixth form and quickly became a staple in the Performing Arts Department. A dedicated and hard-working performer, Tom has maintained a high standard across both music and performing arts classes, as well as playing with different ensembles and accompanying other students for their exams. We feel very fortunate to have had Tom in our department so much for the past two years and would like to wish him every success for his future. Tom. The Hilary Langdon Prize for Photography this year is awarded to Alicia Piers. Alicia is a committed and extremely enthusiastic student. She was an absolute pleasure to teach in the subject. Alicia's dedication to her studies both inside and outside of lessons was exemplary and resulted in her achieving an excellent grade. Alicia started the course without completing the GCSE and has worked very hard to catch up with her peers. Alicia's portfolio was outstanding. She wasn't afraid to try new techniques and push herself out of her comfort zone. Alicia was an asset to the department and often helped out where needed. We wish her all the very best for the future studies. Alicia. The Governor's Prize for Film Studies is awarded to Elliot Stanley. Elliot demonstrated real dedication and commitment to his studies and doggedly overcame various obstacles to ensure that he succeeded in film studies. Engaging fantastically with a range of complex films and concepts, Elliot was able to tackle anything thrown at him, studying everything from early examples of silent cinema to modern day social realist cinema from Brazil. He was always willing to participate in discussions, taking time to carefully consider his viewpoints before expressing his ideas. He may have enjoyed a tangential discussion at times, but this more often not ended in a thought-provoking notion being considered. Ever willing to take on advice, Elliot often sought support and guidance, and used this to help formulate interesting and insightful opinions about the films studied. He spent time honing his analytical skills and was able to demonstrate a, tr a strong understanding of each of the units in the course. Despite not being able to finish his creative coursework piece, What With One Thing and Another, Elliot's early drafts and ideas showed real promise and a flair for practical filmmaking. It's been an absolute pleasure to teach Elliot and we can only offer him his, our sincerest and best wishes for the future. Elliot. The Chris Seppler Prize for Religious Studies is awarded to Luke Swift. Luke has demonstrated throughout his career at Forston Manor his dedication to succeeding in RS. 
Luke consistently complete, completes work to a very high standard and his hard work both independently and in the classroom was rewarded with an A at A level. Luke has a positive attitude to his learning and his motivation to develop his understanding and evaluative skills are a credit to him. Congratulations Luke and best of luck at university. The Governor's Prize for Textile Design is awarded to Robin Harvey. Throughout her time in textiles, Robin has shown excellent commitment and dedication to developing her knowledge, skills and understanding of the dip different textile techniques. Her passion for the subject has shown through in the way she has approached her work, always striving and looking for ways to further develop her skills and extend her knowledge of the subject. It has been rewarding seeing Robin's textiles work develop and her skills mature over the last two years. We wish Robin every success for the future. Robin is also awarded the Sue Carver Prize for Contribution to Sixth Form Life. Robin has a kind, caring and positive character, no matter what challenges she may have faced personally. She always puts others before herself and would do all she could to support her peers. As well as excelling in her studies, Robin also found time to support the smooth running of many events such as participating in Erasmus, charity fundraisers and using her A-level course skills to support the photography department with Christmas shoots. Robin has been a friendly and considerate student who we are sure will succeed in her future ventures. Robin. Outstanding Services to Peer Mentoring is awarded to Rhys Plum. Rhys receives this award for his commitment to his mentees. Reese would seek out mentees around the school to ensure that they were well. He would go out of his way to support the well-being of others. In addition to this, he was always willing to help and guide both his mentees and new peer mentors by supporting with their training and development. Well done, Reese. Our next award is the Governor's Prize for Academic Achievement in Year 11. These prizes are given by the governing body to those students in Year 11 who have achieved the highest academic results in external examinations. And this year goes to Oliver Fox, Adrian Angle Henry, Liam Egan, Madison Gardner, George Vidgen, Spencer Nuke, Millie Steers, Oliver Gilbert, Charlie Chung Yates and Aya Adarubikbi. Our next award is the Governor's Prize for Academic Achievement in the Sixth Form. These prizes are given by the governing body to those students in the Sixth Form who have achieved the highest academic results in external examinations. This year's excellent examination results achieved by so many means that the prize winners have achieved quite exceptional grades in order to qualify for their awards. This year they go to Charlie Brissenden, Catherine Housel, Robin Harvey, Cameron Kemp, Henry Kensington, Julia Martin, Sinead Poyser, Ben Smith, Ben Stanley, Luke Swift and Grace Ware. The Governor's Prize for Progress at Key Stage 4 is awarded to Amelia Zarikta. This prize is awarded to the student who's shown the greatest overall progress in Key Stage 4, as evidenced by their achievements at GCSE level. Amelia. <music> the 
The Governor's Prize for Progress at Key Stage 5 is awarded to Amelie Fryer. This prize is awarded to the student who has made the greatest overall progress in Key Stage 5, as evidenced by their achievement at advanced level. Amelie. The Old Falstonians Trophy for Contribution to Sport goes to Ramon Gale. Ramon always made himself available to participate in sports teams and extracurricular clubs during his school career. He was a very keen sportsman, often knocking at the PE office door asking for his race times after competing in an athletics meet or asking when the next competition or fixture was. He represented Hales House in a range of inter-house sports competitions and was an integral member of the school athletics, handball and basketball teams during his school career and his talent as a middle distance runner led to the district representation in county competitions. Ever present at lunchtime table tennis clubs, he demonstrated his leadership skills by passing on his table tennis knowledge to younger students during his Key Stage 4 years. Ramon, who studied GCSE Physical Education during years 10 and 11 and BTEC Sports during his sixth form years, had a thirst for learning and was a pleasure to teach. Ramon will be sorely missed and we wish him every success in the future. Ramon. The Andy Walsh Prize for Contributions to Business and Community Links goes to Georgia Holland, Harrison Patching Scott and Cameron Stockdale. Georgia, Harrison and Cameron organised and ran a charity week in aid of Help for Heroes. Events took place throughout the week, ending in the first non-school uniform day and raised a fantastic £2,000. Although helped by other students, it was these three students who thought up the idea, were passionate about holding a charity week and coordinated every day exceptionally well and with a maturity beyond their years. Please do come up to receive your awards. The De Groot Prize for Innovation is awarded to Ben Smith. If things are not failing, then you are not innovating enough. A designer who takes risks requires great coverage, especially when time and resources fight against vision and ambition. Ben exemplifies a designer who, in that vein, has unwavering belief in his visions, is creative when forming solutions to problems, is curious about the what-ifs and whys, is thorough in his experimentation, especially when treating failure as merely a response to will, and is skillful at turning the surprising into too outstanding. Ben has embraced the true spirit of design at Falston Manor and has, above all, become an accomplished innovator. We wish him success in a bright and creative future. Ben. Our next award is the Terry Willard Prize for contribution to the cultural life of the school. Unusual as it is to see a list of recipients for the cult contribution to cultural life of the school award, it would be both impossible and unfair to present this award in any other way this year. Thanks to this group of Year 11 students, October 2019 became an important milestone in the school calendar, our first major celebration of Black History Month. With infectious enthusiasm and a restless spirit, these young men and women planned, organised and curated a temporary exhibition on site, celebrating the richness of black history and culture in a unique and memorable way. Combining artwork, historic exposition, fashion pieces and video installations, the ex exhibition was visited hundreds of times by staff and students and proved a resounding success, securing press coverage and praise throughout the school community. Having broached an incredibly politicised issue with determination, confidence and pride, these students demonstrated great vision, made us all very proud and together opened a new chapter in the cultural life of the school. This is awarded to Ayo Adarabik Bay, Evans Agbahiwe, Abel Anatika, Emmanuel Davis, Nadine Ganiwa, Kia Little, John Abembe, Anjola Ogunyemi, Joshua Shangwe Gayobi and David Shaboyd.
next recipient has been an exceptional student, which is evidenced by the fact that she is about to receive four awards. The first of these is the Governor's Prize for Geography. Catherine's exceptional approach to her geographical A-level studies and keen determination to challenge her wider understanding of geographical issues resulted in her deep understanding of the course. Catherine's attitude towards geography at all stages of her A-level studies was exemplary and this, coupled with her active support of fellow geographers within lessons, helped to ensure everyone benefited from the depth of her geographical knowledge. We are so proud of all Catherine has accomplished during her time with the Geography Department and it is with great pleasure that the Geography Department nominate Catherine for this award. Catherine's second award is the Nick Powley Prize for History. Catherine was a superb student and historian. She had a highly conscientious approach towards her work, both in and out of the classroom, displaying a maturity beyond her years. Catherine developed an ability to analyse and evaluate complex historical issues and communicate these in a highly organised and effective way. She was also a keen contributor in discussions, who could put forward her own position congently, yet reflect on the views of others and modify her own opinion. Furthermore, Catherine worked consistently hard on her coursework, displaying strong, independent, historical study skills. Overall, she thoroughly deserved this award. Catherine's third award is the Schilling Prize for Key Stage 5 Academic Achievement. This trophy is awarded to the Year 13 student who has achieved the highest grades in advanced level courses. Catherine achieved A-star grades in GCSE history. Catherine's third award is the Schilling Prize for Key Stage 5 Academic Achievement. The trophy is awarded to the Year 13 student who has achieved the highest grades in advanced level courses. Catherine achieved A-star grades in GCE history and geography, A grade in English literature and a distinction in performing arts. An outstanding performance and one of which she should be justifiably proud. The final award going to Catherine is the Andrew Dunk Trophy for Service to the School. Catherine is incredibly dedicated and studious and this is clearly evident following her recent academic achievements. As well as having a thirst for knowledge, Catherine has also demonstrated a keen desire to access all opportunities available for enrichment. Catherine was a wonderful prefect, showing dedication and consideration of others. She then developed these skills by volunteering her time in many whole school and sixth form events. Catherine also managed to juggle her time to participate in numerous performing arts productions and is a very talented performer. Congratulations Catherine, we wish you every success in the future. Catherine. Our next award is given in memory of an ex-student who embodied the principles May They Learn the Art of Friendship. The Sophie Lintot Award for Student Personality of the Year is given to Owen Foster. Owen joined us as a timid but excited Year 7 and promptly set out to make the most of absolutely every opportunity afforded to a Forston student. He even tried some GCSE study groups, not realising they were age specific. Time and time again, Owen has proved his commitment to improving his community. Whether Owen is producing and directing a variety show in memory of a relative, to fundraise an awe-inspiring amount for cancer research, to volunteering time in the performing arts block and running sound and lighting for our smaller performances, or carrying out his various varied roles as a prefect, then as head boy. Owen has leapt at so many opportunities. For somebody whose time is so full of different activities, Owen has never shirked his duty as a friend either. He is an engaging young person and goes out of his way to be welcoming, helpful and supportive to those around him, whether they be staff or students. From the bright-eyed, eager Year 7 student to the confident and friendly young man we know, Owen Foster has no doubt made a positive impact on every single member of the Forston Manor community and we are very proud to claim him as one of our treasured alumni. Owen.
The Ruckel Trophy for progress throughout the student's school life this year goes to Jason Moore. Jason has been a wonderful student throughout his time at Forston Manor School. He has worked incredibly hard to develop academically but has also become a kind, conscientious and reflective character. This was clearly apparent during his work experience last year when his colleagues described him as an incredibly hard worker who was a pleasure to have as part of their team. We congratulate Jason for all he has achieved and wish him the best of luck for the future. Jason. Many of those that have received the awards this evening will continue their journeys with us in our sixth form and will continue to watch them develop. For those leaving the sixth form and heading to further education or employment, we wish them well and we hope that they feel their time with us has been time well spent. Regardless of the complications of how the year has ended, they should all be very proud of their achievements. We look forward to hearing from them all in the future. They are forever part of the Fulston family and we wish them all the very best. This leaves me just to thank you for your time this evening. It has been wonderful to celebrate the achievements of our students. I'd finally like to pay tribute to everyone else that had a part of in, in ensuring those successes. The parents, guardians, wider family members who've helped the young people to get to this point. All the staff in the school, from our site staff, administrative staff, support staff, to the teaching staff, without whom there would be no school to run and no children to teach and to the governors and wider community for all of their support of their school. Thank you. Good evening.